will be a quick little freeze test between the iPhone 14 Pro Max versus, of course, its natural rival, right? The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Okay, so let's just go ahead and check out the phones real fast, starting with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So you can see. So, this is pretty much still a new phone. Check out the dynamic island. Yeah, everything works as it should. No issues yet. I'm gonna put that down. And then we'll do the same thing to the S22 Ultra. Turn it on real quick. Get into the phone. And it's a perfectly working phone. Nothing wrong with it. Check out the S Pen right there. Okay, so, I mean, this will just be a simple test, really. We're just gonna very simply pour water into these containers for the phones all in with this strawberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade, sparkling water here by Market Pantry. Shout out to Market Pantry. We're we'll pouring this liquid into the container, put the containers in the freezer for about, I don't know, 10 hours, 11 hours, something like that, basically overnight. And then tomorrow, I'll see if the phone survive. All right, so without further delay, let's just get started. Um, let me open this up. Very nice. Ooh, let me be there. Can I smell this? Strawberry lemonade. Whoa. It smells very nice. Too bad you can't smell it through the camera, but... This thing's about to That smells pretty good. Maybe I'll have some after I pour this in. Oh, here we go. I'm making a mess. Check this out. It's gonna come up to the surface. Well, anyway, enough of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in. Starting first on the iPhone. <laughs> I think that's about right. And then now on the uh, S22 Ultra. You know, let me look at the level. Actually, I forgot to do something. Ah, darn it. What I was also going to do for this test is, I was actually going to... Oh, look at the Samsung. It's going crazy. It's going to actually... Also run the clock on both phones. Alright, so let that run. During the test, just to kind of see if it'll stay running. Or if it'll stop for some reason. There you go. So let that run. Drop them back in. Alright man, let's just put these in the freezer right now. This will just be a real quick test. Crazy. Alright, so let's uh I'm gonna go ahead and open the ice box right here iPhone, as you can see, the dynamic island is right there, and it's gonna go into the freezer, right there. There it is. If I can get the camera to focus, check that out. That ice cream sounds pretty good right now too. <laughs> Alright, now what is the uh, iPhone going, I mean the... S22 doing. It's on eBay. It's on eBay. Okay, well. There it is. There they are. Okay, now where's my uh my iPhone 13? So I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and start that up. I'm gonna close the ice box. And there we go. So I'm basically just gonna let it sit there overnight. Right, um, tomorrow during the day, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna defrost the phones, and see if they survive or not. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it's the following day. As you can see, about, we'll round up to 10 hours later. So let's just uh, see what we're dealing with here. Open up the ice box. I'm gonna take you guys with me and have a look at that. Wow, okay. 
Um, let's just go ahead and grab these two. And, uh, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down here. Give me a second. Um, just to try to find a port All right, cool. At the side. All right, how are we gonna situate this? All right, I'm gonna grab this one. This one is the uh, I don't know. Uh, which one? This looks like to be the, uh, the S. Put that in the sink, and then this one is the, um, the 14. Man, this thing is cold. <laughs> So, kind of see what we're dealing with, and uh, wow. Whoops! A little bit of slippage. Look at that water beating on the S22. Looks like it has like some sort of ceramic coating on it. <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of cool. If you had somebody actually tried to ceramic coat a phone, that'd be uh, kind of interesting. But for real though, look at the water beating on the, um, look at that water beating on the iPhone. Look at the beads. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Looks like the S is free. Now I'm gonna... But for real though, hold on a second. Look at the water beating here. Look at, look at, look at like these huge... Look at, just look at how beautiful the beads are. That's, that, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Alright, anyway, enough of that. Um, okay, so the phones are free from the ice. As you can see. So I'm gonna, let me switch. I'm gonna go over here. iPhone 14 Pro Max versus Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra Freeze Durability Test. Okay. First, check the S22 Ultra and see if this phone works. All right, I have a feeling it should. You know, this is like, I don't know, the fourth or fifth time I'm freezing phones now, and the durability of these devices in the past is just, it's amazing, right? IP68 water is resistant. They can resist the cold, you know, nicely and I expect this to be a little different but let's find out right now. I'm gonna turn on the power button and let's go. And as I expected the phone turns on no issues. Battery level is like 90%. If I remember correctly when I first started this I think the battery was like 96 or something like that. Alright so swipe up and go around the display. Display seems to work. And let me take a look at it right now. I'm not seeing any water or anything under the display although there's an indicator right there. Look at that, that's interesting. Let's zoom in here. Little indicator right there. It's a water drop. So I'm gonna go down, what does that say? That says, check charger USB port, moisture has been detected. Oh! I'm gonna click open that notification. Moisture has been detected in your charger USB port. Make sure it's dry before charging your phone. And then you see there's some water there, obviously. So I'm gonna shake it out. You know, I'll see maybe I don't know if that will disappear on its own, if it's dry, or if I have to swipe it away. But, alright, that's to be expected. Yeah, but overall, I think the phone works. Let's go ahead and see the file the camera. Really quick. I'm gonna you know, just take a quick picture of something right here. Take a picture of the iPhone. Okay, I'm making a quick video. I'm gonna record this right now. Alright, this is a quick video from the S22 Ultra, right after the freeze test, let me know if the audio and video quality, does the video, or does the audio sound muffled, does the video sound blurry, or what am I saying, is the audio muffled and is the video look blurry, there you go, there you go. let me know in the comments, peace out. Alright, let me know what's up down in the comments. 
Yeah, but the screen seems to work. I'm gonna get in here. I don't see any condensa condensation in the camera lens. And I flip the phone over, and I'm not seeing any condensation in the camera lens on the rear glass. Go ahead and test out the, uh, what was it? Oh, here's the clock, that's right. So you can see that clock still running in the background. I've never seen this reload ever. And then let's see, test out the sound right now. Okay, slightly muffled on the sound. I'm gonna try to shake the phone. Click. Overall, I think that sounds pretty good. Let the phone dry. I think this phone will function 100%. Cool, so that's the S22 Ultra. Put the S22 Ultra to the side. And of course, now we have to test out the iPhone 14 Pro Max. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Will it turn on? I think it will, but let's find out right now. And phone turns on as I expected. Very nice. Turn it back off again. Let's take a look at the dynamic island here. I'm not seeing any water underneath the screen or in the lenses or anything like that. I think that's fine. I think that looks good. I'm gonna go over here. Getting the camera lens here, and the same thing. I'm not seeing any damage or anything, no water underneath the glass. Pretty good, look at the ports. There's probably there's water in there, obviously. But nothing inside the phone. I don't think so. And also, no notification on the iPhone. Yeah, I'm not seeing any of like, you know, once you detect it or anything like that, like on the Samsung. Now, is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know. We'll see. The screen seems to work just fine. Let's swipe down. There's that. Let's swipe here. There's that. I mean, yeah. Seems to work. Now, let's go ahead and go to the stopwatch. Still running in the background. Again, never seen this reload on any phone ever. Let's test out the sound. Alright, here we go. Turn the volume up. Give the phone a shake. Maybe shake out some of the water. Let's see how this sounds. I think that sounds pretty good. Give this phone a few hours. I think the speakers, the ports will dry up, and the best speaker is gonna sound like 100 percent So I'm gonna give that a pass. Finally, let's go ahead and test out the camera. Where's my S22? Okay. Right. Take a quick picture of this phone. Let me know how that looks. Quick video. Alright, this is a quick test from the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Right after the freeze test, let me know of the audio and video quality. Does the audio sound muffled? Does the video look blurry? Let me know down in the comments. Peace out. There we go. Cool, man. So this has been a quick little durability test. A freeze test between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Let me know what you thought about this quick little test in the comments down below. Again, these phones with its IP68 water and dust resistance, I mean, these phones that they're putting out nowadays are pretty darn durable. I'm actually quite impressed that they can take a beating such as cold temperatures, etc. And phones last many, many years now. You should be able to keep your phone as long as it's getting software updates for three, four, or five years. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace out.
video from the Essential Opera. Right after the free test, let me know if the audio and video quality, if the video or if the audio sound muffled, if the video sound blurred, or what am I saying? If the audio is muffled and if the video looks blurred. Let me know in the comments. Yeah. Alright, here's a quick test from the iPhone 4 control list. Right after the speed test, let me know if the audio and video quality, if the audio is a ripple, if the video looks blurred, 